Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. New Game Plus. So, there is something I do want to try while I'm here. It occurred to me that this is actually a uh, dexterity and strength scaling weapon. And, well, most notably what brought it to mind was a friend of mine told me about a certain thing it can do. That! Which, uh, will apparently knock an enemy backwards, much like the kick I was complaining about the loss of, the lack of in the previous episode. But, yes, I am very intrigued to try it, and I think it can be dual wield with... Nope. Ah, I don't have the required. Uh, let's see, 15, and I have exactly 15. I don't have the required strength for power stancing. But yes, I, I I am quite intrigued by this weapon, so I will probably be fiddling with it. But, on to the next stage of our journey. I really want to see what power stancing that would do. I'm going to enjoy that far more than I should. Did I say power stance? I'm going to enjoy that, that kick far more than I should. I don't remember what I said now. In any case... Do not do it on enemies too large to actually be knocked back. Because I don't die enough to the the uh, the great sword wielding ones, ultra great sword wielding ones. That was my bad timing. I like this weapon. It actually does a rapid combo without dual wielding. <laughs> Where have you been all my life, weapon? Oh, where have you been hiding? You are my new current favorite weapon. Why are there so many of you in here? Ah, that's right, I remember you. What is the roll attack? Uppercut. That's the strong attack, which I don't remember what it does. I just know it does a thing. Bell head with his head of bell and bell shield and magic punching fist of punchness. Let's dual wield version. Mr. Sumo Stomper. I see. What's your poise damage? 30? I'm slightly concerned by how much poise damage this thing does. Why is this never- why is this a weapon I've never used? You stop ringing the bell. I'm going to punch you now, sir. Did you like your free back punch? This is your back massage. I love this weapon. To the friend that recommended it. You have made me quite happy. I'm far happier than I should be with Sublime Bone Dust. It's kind of funny that your character de-equips fist weapons when doing stuff. I mean, it's a hand. I shouldn't be de-equipping a hand. Boom. Oh, I love it. Wait, what was... Oh! Wait. Oh, I see. That's the second hit of the, uh... The R2 combo as well. I'm enjoying this farm, and it's not even upgraded. Oh dear. Oh, I'm gonna have fun with this. Yeah, I have enough Twinkling Titanite. <laughs> It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that's 10, that's 13. 
That should not be a large ordeal to upgrade. I thought I remembered there being a gooby gobble over there. Ah! How are you alive? Mr. One Hit Wonder. One Hit Point. I don't even have to deal with you. There's a fragrant branch statue blocking my path. And this is the day that we punched a duder. That That's going to be the achievement for the day, I guess. I'm going to go to Majula, though, and uh, do a little bit of blacksmithing. Oh, wait, I'm not going to have nearly enough souls for this. Watch, it's going to take, like... Okay, apparently we're not doing that. Because for me to get the blacksmith key requires me to go to the Forest of Fallen Giants, which is not on today's itinerary. Is it you I'm looking for? Yes. Yes. It's not the button I was looking for. It's not the button I was looking for. Stop that. That's the button I'm looking for. There's a delay on you active. Start running. That might be how I have to activate it. What was I doing? Ah, yes, torch. And, like I mentioned before, we'll be montaging over any interesting events pending anything being you know properly different like that dancing body mm. ah! any life gems anymore because Malincha's not there because I haven't been oh man I have shot myself in the foot in so many ways by not going there oh no oh it's a knockback oh I can do that to knock people off cliffs oh I adore this my five-hour torch. Always important. What happens when if you power stance two of these? You unlock horrors beyond re beyond mortal reckoning, apparently. I know there's another torch up here, but there's also a guy with a bow and arrow. This area in particular is kind of an example of what the earlier, the uh, beta version of, well, I don't know if it would be specifically the beta version, but with the earlier version of Dark Souls 2 was going to be a lot more uh, reliant on you using your torch. Areas were going to be a lot more focused on being dark. <laughs> okay, this weapon has a forward step. I'm learning. Slowly. We know what's about to happen. I knew there was a high likelihood of me leasing right over the cliff, but I had to do it. It's only 7,000. Now, as I was saying... Yes, I know you're up there with a bow and arrow. I'm not dealing with you. Ah, as I was saying, 
Uh, Dark Souls 2 was initially going to be much more focused on you having to do this, where you defeat enemies and then go back and light torches and such. It was, uh, you know, later changed, and that's annoying. Not the change, the fact that I'm going to have to put out my torch, deal with these guys. Why? <sighs> and there's another complaint. Uh, I've brought it up a few times over the game. Sometimes dropping off a short ledge, you'll just drop, and sometimes you'll roll. There does not seem to be a hugely distinctive rhyme or reason to when it just decides, Oh, today I'm going to roll! And that guy with the bow and arrow is going to die soon. I just, you know, walked off here and didn't expect to... See, that time I didn't roll. Same ledge, same jump, same button presses. Perhaps it is completely random. Well, thus far this area has been pretty same-ish. Sure that's just to lull me into a false sense of security. Hey, Hank. In, uh... <clears throat> I forgot about the guy on the roof. Hank, you're gonna want to get back. There's a crazed maniac running around your house. Hank, Hank, what have we talked about? Keep your distance while I'm fighting. I don't want you getting caught in the crossfire. You know, it's kind of neat. The Varangian soldiers actually, uh, the Varangan, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, use a very similar moveset at times to the Flexal Sentry. Yeah, I'm on. There's a torch sconce. There was a weird light flickering instance there. And there's Lucetil. What is it? I don't know you. Things are better. <laughs> Normally people get ankled from the land of myth. They say drang late, and so I came. But what a strain. You are an odd. Well, you've made a point of it. I can see that you are mid -gen. I come from Mira. Don't hesitate to call upon me. Ah, indeed. I am going to be slightly skipping over the NPC chatter that we've heard before. Uh, you may pause and read it if you so desire. This was a dead end before. Still a dead end. Uh, I thought perhaps. I hear you, Doge. Stay over there. Oh, hello, Doge. Zero. You're not the Doge I thought I was hearing. Oh, whoa. Hello, sir. Where did you come from? Did Hank approve of you? Denied. Okay, so that has horrible aim. It's kind of... I, I will say, it's a little bit annoying when there's a sconce 20 feet from another sconce. But, once you get them all lit, it's kind of nice. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot about that guy. Although now that I know that I can get two shot them. Where do you go? I think he's out of my reach. Actually, where's that guy that was shooting at me? Was it you, sir? You, sir! Dead! You and your magical mid-flight curving arrows. Hello, duder. Oh, hello! No! 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 I will have to put my life goal of punching a duder off for a moment while we deal with... Oh, that's the one I shot. No, he's got full health. No, they can't Estus, though. Oh! Well, that would have ended badly. Had the timing been a little bit better, that would have been hilarious. And I did not mean to use my next to last life gem. Oh well. Time to poke a duder. Oh duder! Hey, Mr. Dutes! I'm gonna punch you. Okay, two things learned. One, duders don't stagger. That should have been obvious. Two. Bone Fist Durability. So I might want to swap that out. And then instantly we'll die to the Duder and have wasted two repair powders. Oh, Mr. Dudes. Wait. You're not the Duder I was fighting a moment ago. He had... He wasn't at full health. It's not that they don't stagger as much as once they initiate an attack, they have really high, like, hyperframes, poise, what have you. I don't know how I did that, but okay. Hey, Mr. Dudes. Are you gonna come play? Oh, there's the, there's the one I was punching a minute ago. So you count as a human-sized enemy, huh? I see. So what's to stop me from just doing this? Until you, you know, stop getting up. Well, I have kicked a duder. I guess that's pretty close. Now they're... Oh, I see. Somebody previously broke all that debris that I thought I had to hide behind. Boom! Off the cliff with you. Still creeps me out that the dead bodies still make that clicking sound. Ah, pool of oil. I thought there was a guy over here. There is. Run! Magic flying barrels. Run! Magic flying barrels. Those worry me. What I was going to say is, honestly, the uh, the Ring of Blades would go really well with the Bone Fist. 
because it adds, you know, 25 damage per hit, and that's hit, hit, hit. But doing that gives up a lot of my soul gain, which is partly how I level up. There's a sconce there. I'm gonna like these sconces. Ooh, dear, I forgot about you too. Head bone fist strikes again. And another sconce. I do get the feeling that one of the reasons that they didn't go through with the plan of having the game be as torch driven is just you see in this area how often you defeat a few enemies and then stop, go back to the previous sconce, you know, light it, and then come back. And the fact that you, you know, especially if you're on a build that requires you have some secondary weapon, how this could be problematic. Okay, there's duders down there that aren't going to be duded. There's a guy down here waiting to kill me, and a sconce. There you are. The reason I go for the stone ring instead of... <laughs> instead of the ring of blades, there's an arrow coming from somewhere. Ah, uh, is in many cases I can stun lock an enemy with this weapon, and uh, so having a little bit of extra damage, but potentially not stun locking them would probably not work as well, long run. I'm gonna go ahead and activate a shortcut. I have to say, thus far this area has ooh, hey Gavlin. You almost get hit. Who are you? I got, got what will. You know what? I don't have that yet, so. Many deal. Ah. But yes, this area has been very sameish. You're the guy I shot before that got out of my reach. There are two more Varangans in there, but I only aggroed one. I don't know if it was the vertical difference or what, but he was not staggering with the shockwave. Get up, fellas. Th this guy, he... He owes me. Oh, I'm sorry, you owe me too! Did 
you just throw oil at me? Well, I threw little bits of stone and wood at you in the form of an arrow. Okay. That's what that is. This is a bandit axe. I take a lot more damage with this thing. Okay. So that's open. Hmm. That's the wall. Now this is the... Another one of you, I see. Someday one of them is going to drop that claw. A little shadow mass. He used to hide in the cover of night. Those who are especially adept assassins are often hired as bodyguards. In an attempt to stave off the curse, King Vendrick hired shadow men to put down the hollows. But before long, they were hollowed themselves. Ooh, spooky. Spookums! Hey, 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 fella. I'm not the one that shot you. You're looking for a one-armed man that uses a bow. With not a bell on his head. Wait. I wonder if I can break that wall with this thing. Mm. Fragrant branch. Oh, you are kidding me. And it defeats crystal lizards? <laughs> I like this weapon. I just punched a brick wall. It's clearly the fist of Chuck Norris. Yeah. Wait, I got more life gems. Where did I find more of you? Probably from a chest somewhere. Duders stay in your little duder houses. All is right with the world. Wait, why am I being poisoned more? I still had poison residue on me, didn't I? I gotta deal with him. He was gonna be a problem if I didn't. Oh, it just occurred to me, I can't buy more normal arrows until I get the blacksmith key. I thought there was uh, a bunch of clingers over here. Ah, there you go. I thought there was more of them. Ah, there you are. Well, the joke's on you. I activated the shortcut. That means I can die now and, you know, get back there reasonably without having to go through all the enemies. Stay in your house, duder. Stay in there and the light will stay out here. And never the twain shall meet. But if you come out here then, all bets are off. Hello, Corillian. I see light, but it remains dim. I am Carillion. And I have warmth. Why have I not been using that? I'm still not used to having that. Because, as always, Lucetiel must join Zifre. Now that I know where the summon sign is, we don't have to worry about hunting for it. I really want to upgrade this bone fist, but I lack a blacksmith. 
Come on, Lucy. Lucy Lou! Oh dear, I forgot about you, sir. Oh, there's a red phantom. That's, that's, you see, that's, that's not good. Back, Lucy, back. Back, Lucy. We don't want to fight him on narrow terrain. That's a death sentence for both of us. Oh, you're kidding me. He actually won't come off the ship. You know, it's not exploitable at all. It's like, hey, who, who shot at me? Nobody out here. Nothing to worry about. Just them random leg pains and arrow-like growths that keep popping up. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay, I'll give you some dignity. Hey! Hey! There you go, you died with dignity. I thought there was another Varangan up here, too. There is. There we go. Let's deal with this phantom. Is that a twin blade? Off the cliff with you. Well, off the. Off with your ledge! Oh, you're gonna take obnoxiously long to kill, aren't you? There we go. <sighs> Poison, my old friend. Did you drop something? No. Okay, moving forward. That was the one thing that changed about this entire area. A red phantom. Just one. Come on, Lucy. Lucy Lou! Ah! Oh dear. Oh dear. I stand corrected in many ways. Okay, there we go. This is a perfectly fair way to fight, isn't it? Come on, focus on me! Oh, yeah, I forgot about that last hit. Uh, no. Who said you could jump at me? This is going horribly, I know. Okay, we win. I'm just gonna go ahead and push that through. No need for Lucy to die over here. Ooh, did that look weird. Okay. Moving forward. And 
And as always, open the treasure chest before interacting with that. Don't make the mistake I did of interacting with that and then not being able to open the chest until you come back through that area again. That is the call of the bellhead! the next area and then I walk off and I have to go through all that again to get to the bonfire oh that's right I forgot about this room you don't have to worry about down there I'm assuming they're the guards and that they are just so drunk on grog that they are completely harmless either that or they've hollowed to the point of not caring or not knowing I don't know. Ah, yes, you knew well to open door. Uh, this part's always a little slow. side it's even on. Oh, there it is. A scimitar and some repair powder. That's how you push a button. 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 Gotta make sure that button is well pushed. Okay, and with that, let's go up into here and activate the bonfire. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and I think... Nope, yeah, I need more souls for a level up, so I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and I will see you next time.